So you're at a party talking to a beautiful woman and a guy comes up, looks like he lives in the gym and says, hey man, do you know where the bottle opener is at? I can't open my beer. Now you, being the cool guy you are, say, hey, I got this Mr. Muscles. Take that beer and pop the cap right off. So what's the secret? Super strength? Nah, you just understand physics, the power of leverage, of fulcrums, of force. Now the easiest method is to use a stationary edge. We're talking about a countertop. You don't want to use anything wood, anything that's going to give, but one made from metal, one made from stone, boom, it'll get the job done quick. If you're wearing a ring, especially one made out of titanium or steel, you can use that to get leverage on the cap and pop it off. Quick note though, if it's a gold ring, be careful, you could damage it. Another quick hack is to fold a piece of paper in half six times and use that to give you leverage to pop off the cap. And if you happen to be near a vehicle, just use the car door latch to pop off the cap. Now, this next two minute hack is powerful. If you want to reclaim your email inbox, you've had the same email for a decade. You love it. You don't want to give it up, but you get so much spam. So, create a filter for the word unsubscribe. Anyone that sends an email that has unsubscribe, this is a marketing email. If you want to get rid of all of them, create this filter and boom, they are gone. It's obvious, it's simple, it's free and no marketing emails are going to be in your inbox. Now, I guess you can go to your main folder and check them because you did probably legitimately sign up for some things, but this does a great job of just clearing out all the stuff that isn't a personal message. Next up, you're getting a two for one, the Heimlich Maneuver and CPR. And to be honest, these are going to take longer than a couple minutes, but 10 minutes, you can learn the basics of both, especially with the Heimlich Maneuver, actually learning how to perform the Heimlich maneuver on yourself. You may find yourself in a situation in which you're choking and yes, you can do this on yourself to be able to get food out of your airway. And when it comes to the CPR, guys, this is not as difficult. I remember when I learned it was a full day class, but nowadays they've really broken it down into the basics of you just want to keep the heart pumping. Again, gents, you can pick up the basics in just a few minutes and this could save a life possibly yours. The next life hack that's going to improve your situation and making yourself a harder target. When it comes to identity theft, guys, understand that every 14 seconds, there is a new victim out there. So, that means since the start of this video, about a dozen people have been hit. Guys, it's also expensive. Identity theft on average costs a person at least a thousand bucks. And if you've got money in crypto, you've been saving up for a house, guys, it can cost even more when you've put in all that work and you can lose it in minutes by doing something as stupid as surfing the web without a VPN. And that's why, gents, I'm bringing you today's sponsor, Aura. They're an all-in-one theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, they've got password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy-to-use app. And gents, as somebody that's had their identity stolen years ago, I had someone break into my email accounts. So I can tell you, it is a horrible feeling when you know somebody has access to your information and you've got to go in and change everything. Guys, you want to be ahead of this. You want to make sure you are a hard target. Now, what I love about Aura, and by the way, guys, I've been using the service for over four months. Absolutely love it. Is that they are going in and they're looking at data brokers. Okay. Who is trying to use Antonio's information? And they actually put in requests to opt out. They go to the dark web. They found me six times and they point out, hey, you're going to want to go in and change these passwords and they're going to look at account records. They're looking at public records. Guys, they've got right here a built-in VPN. So easy to be able to turn it on or turn it off. I can also go in and see my credit score. I just love how everything I need to be able to protect myself, to be able to be you know, smart on the internet is right here in one single app. I also like how you can monitor your financial accounts for suspicious activity. A couple months back, I had somebody on my team spend a little bit more. It wasn't their fault. They got double charged. But you know what? I was told immediately by Or that, hey, you want to check this out. This is going to negatively affect your credit score. Talk to the company and boom, they were right now. If I had waited a month until I saw the change in my credit score, that would have been bad. But because I was proactive, because Or was so quick to let me know, I was able to call the credit card company immediately and fix the problem. I personally use Aura and I want you to try it. That's why I've got you 14 days free. Go to Aura.com slash RMRS to be able to protect yourself from the fastest growing crime out there. That is identity theft. Again, Aura.com slash RMRS. The next two minute life skill that's going to make you a better man, learn to fondle your testicles. Seriously, guys, every time you're in the shower, fill yourself up. Why? Because you want to know what is normal. You want to know what's regular with the boys. Because if there is some type of lump, there's some type of bump, 
you want to quickly go to a doctor. Guys, I'm talking about a testicular exam, something that you should be giving yourself every day, especially if testicular cancer runs in your family. And if it doesn't, guys, just make sure that you know your body, you understand, hey, this is something out of the ordinary and get checked out before it becomes a bigger issue. And by the way, if you need a video instructional for this, type in Rachel Stevens testicular exam video. Guys, uh, yeah, it's good. Next up, I've got tidy righty and lefty Lucy. I almost left this one off because I thought it's obvious. Every guy knows this. If you have never heard tidy righty, lefty Lucy, please let me know down in the comments. This is the basics. Whenever you're using a screwdriver, you're using a wrench, you are tightening something, you are loosening something. You want to know which direction universally things should go so that you don't over tighten and end up ripping and stripping something or taking something off that shouldn't come off. Point being, if you know that, it's it's going to make your life easy with the basic repairs, even simply removing and changing a light bulb. Now, this next life lesson I learned pretty young because I was a curious person and I just simply read the manuals, but I know so many guys skip this. Guys, if you don't read the manuals, you're missing out probably on more than half of the features, half of the capabilities of the item that you just purchased. And you also risk damaging the item. So, take a few minutes, read through the manual, and if that's too much, then take the manual, basic information there, type it into YouTube. You'll find somebody has probably made a video that explains everything that's in the manual so that you can just watch it that way. Now, these next life skills I think are really important to men, and that is the basics of strength training and the core four exercises. So, this is something, yes, in a matter of minutes, you can learn the basics. Now, it may take a lifetime to truly master and perfect them, but when it comes to the squat, when it comes to the deadlift, when it comes to the bench press, when it comes to the shoulder press, within a matter of minutes with a great coach, you can learn the basics of how to stand, how to properly hold the weight, how to properly go down and actually perform the exercise. Again, the key here is a good instructor, so make sure you can ask the right questions to be able to vet if somebody actually knows what they're talking about. But through that, through them observing you going through the basics of the lift, they can make minor improvements, they can actually make adjustments in your stance, and all of a sudden, it's going to improve your lift and most importantly, it's going to prevent injury. So, there's a quote out there that wearing a tie is the first step to becoming a gentleman. I'm not sure I 100% agree with that, but I do think that every man should know how to tie a tie. Now, I'm a style channel. We've got tons of videos on the subject, so I'll link to those down in the description. But guys, I've also got simple infographics. No matter if you want to tie something a little bit, you know, a little bit more like a full Windsor or maybe just a half Windsor. Guys, start with the four in hand or maybe look at the Oriental Knot. Tons of simple how to tie a tie instructionals out there, guys. No excuse. Know how to tie a tie. Once you practice it a few times, you will have it down with muscle memory. It's a great skill. And by the way, if you ever have to tie a tie for someone else, a quick hack here is to tie it on yourself, then loosen it, and then take it off and put it on the other person. And speaking of style, let's talk quickly about sewing on a button. It's a basic skill that I think every guy should have. In fact, sewing, a lot of guys don't think it's manly. Guys, go watch Rambo, First Blood. What happens when he falls out of that tree, injures his arm pretty bad? He sews up his own wound. Guys, basically understanding the basics of being able to stitch things back together, it's about self-reliance. And that's why I always recommend starting with just simply sewing on a button. Once you get that and you understand those basics, you can move on to mending a hole, being able to go over and sew your trousers back together together when you get a tear. Little things like that. And by the way, if you're staying at a higher end hotel, you're traveling, ask for the emergency sewing kit. They've got those things lying around. You've got the basics right there, a needle with thread, and you'd be surprised what you can get done with those. Next up, we've got the three knots that every man should know. First up, we've got the sheet bend. This is a simple knot that allows you to tie one rope to another. Next up, we've got the bowline. This is the knot that makes a loop in the rope that doesn't cinch down. And last but not least, we've got the clove hitch. This is a very useful knot if you want to attach a rope to an object such as a tree branch, a stick, or a carabiner. So, what video to watch next? How about why I have 35 savings accounts? Seriously, in this video, I break it out why I have so many and my thought process for growing and saving money with some interesting and obscure methods that most people don't even talk about. If you want to learn more how to earn more money, how to make more money, check out this video right here.